Hi, everybody. Welcome to January unboxing. Yay, so excited. I just slammed my hand into the table. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so I was just over on Instagram Live for the first time uh, doing one of those. Um, I did my makeup. I did a get ready with me. Um, and I'm using some new products from the boxes today. So I'm super excited about that. Um, my top is from Kiana, so um, if you like the promenade tops, this is their latest one with the floral. It is so pretty. It's so can be dressed up or down. I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm going to give people a few minutes to come on and hang out with us as I get all of my stuff ready. You know how we do. This is just how we do, girl. Um, <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a great Thursday or had a great Thursday. Um, and I hope you have some fun stuff planned for the weekend. Let me know what your plans are. Um, I'm going to the Portland Seafood and Wine Fest. So if you're going, let me know. We should hang out and say hello. Um, I was like, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this week has just been busy, busy, a lot of work going on, a lot of things to do, a lot of stuff for the blog. Um, I'm going to try to have an outfit post out, um, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe Saturday, maybe Monday. We'll see how much I actually get done. But, um, anyway, <laughs> um, we will have fun, uh, regardless so I'm just going to give people a few minutes to get on. Um, I had a really good time over on Instagram Live. Um, it was good to see folks over there that normally I don't see over here. Um, and I think it's something that would be fun to do now and then. Um, I do need a better lighting situation. Like this light is too big for over there where I did my makeup. Um, so I'm going to look into that. Uh, yeah. So I hope everybody is uh, is ready for some unboxing. Um, my eye makeup looks really good on camera. Like I can't really see it because of my bangs in person, but on camera, it's working for me. Uh, <laughs> let me know if you like it. Um, so I've got everything here. I got my water. I got my wipes. I actually remembered those. I remembered my, where did I put them? Well, oh, I remembered my tissues. I just didn't put them in the right place. Okay, so we are just going to hop into it. Um, first is Birch Box, of course. This is the box for the month. Um, it says, take a beautiful chance. You're in, you're, you are entirely up to you. Purpose fuels passion today anything's possible it's a good box to start out the year right um i always love these because i can use them to organize stuff so that's what i'm gonna do um so let's see hello 2019 that is the theme um and so we have different points from them about updating your beauty profile you do get to pick a personalized sample each month um, and then they ha also have the curated box you can choose to get that one um 10 back from their loyalty program where you buy things from them and you can review the samples to um excuse me um, and you get $5 in points free for your first five reviews. They used to do points for all of your reviews, and I liked that better, but um, now you just get points for the first five. But you can still leave reviews for the products and that kind of thing. So you all know I've been kind of on the fence about the Birch Box. The last couple I've liked, and this one's pretty good also. So I haven't um, canceled that subscription yet, and um, away we go. So... Let me see. First up is the black peel off mask. A full size is $29. Um, you're going to apply an even layer to your T zone after cleansing. Wait 15 to 20 minutes and peel it off. Um, I have a sample of this already. It does peel off. Um, it is like a it's not as thick as a mud mask, but it's not super thin either. Um, it has a really good texture to it. It kind of smells, I was smelling it earlier when I was getting everything ready. It has a bit of an earthy smell. 
not like dirt, but um, anyway, it feels what from what I can remember, and it's been a while since I used it. Um, it felt really good. My skin felt really smooth and everything afterwards. I need to do masks more. I haven't been doing them, and they're always a helpful thing to do um, on occasion. So um, anyway, if you need a new mask, this one's great. Um, you can, you know, it's like, it looks like a mask too, because it's really dark black. Um, but don't be one of those people that takes a, a picture of your face like that. I just, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> all right. We are going to throw things over there when we're done. Um, next is the MAC Cosmetics In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Mascara. Um, a full size is $24. It says these will give you dimensional, clump free, carbon black lashes that lengthen, condition, and define. So um, I've used MAC mascaras before, and initially they worked pretty well for me. But these days they don't because I need a tubing one or the Benefit Roller Lash, which isn't a tubing one, but it works really well. Um, so I do tend to like the brushes in the MAC mascaras. They do tend to have fluffier brushes. Um, this one has more of that sort of plasticky silicone look. Um, we can put it on over what I'm wearing. I won't be out too late today. so. I shouldn't have to worry about getting the dreaded raccoon eye. It does give some length. Mm -hmm. um, but generally speaking, these just don't work well for me. But um, it's also a bummer because they do have some pretty good mascaras, Mac does. Um, hi, Sharon. How are you? I can't wait for dinner. I, I get another good dinner out of getting ready and zhuzhed up so we get to go have dinner with Sean and his mom Sharon. It's going to be fun. Um, all right, next is the Stila Liquid Stay All Day Lipstick. I said that kind of backwards, but you get it. Um, this is the color Rubino. A full size is $22. Um, it's a deep red shade um lipstick if you've never used these before it's a liquid lipstick it goes on liquid it dries down it doesn't go anywhere these stay on all day but they are really drying i am going to swatch things for you do not fret my dears um i almost wore this shade today because i figured it would also go with this top but um but i know how drying these liquid lipsticks can be which is why i normally don't wear them that often um it's great if you're going to part a party and you're just going to be um like sipping a drink or something if you're eating and stuff you're probably going to have to do a little bit of zhuzhing um if you're lucky you won't have to do anything but sometimes like the oils in in food can break down the lipstick and then you kind of have the line around it um but it's a gorgeous color it's a deep deep red um i don't usually wear really dark lip colors but i had a friend tell me i should do it more often and i tried a really dark vampy purple color um that's going to be in a blog post that's coming out soon and I actually really liked it. So um, she was right. <laughs> um, so next is TLW Let's Get Naked Frizz Fighter. A full size is $20. This is for your hair. It will smooth out frizz, hydrate, and protect your hair. It's paraben free, keratin infused. Um, it's a hair serum, so it's going to have um, a thinner feel. Oh, okay. So it's got like a thicker um lotion type of feel like a creamy creamy texture why oh it smells good oh it smells nice it's like i wanted to say it was fruity at first but it's not it's maybe it is slightly fruity but i can't i can't put a finger on what it is it's also got kind of a warmth to it it smells really good and it's not an overpowering smell. It's lighter, it's there, but oh, it's not, it smells good. I like this. Mm, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to use that on my hair on Saturday when I get ready for the uh, wine and seafood fest. Um, anyway, this is by TLW and a full size is $20. All right, now we're going to, let me get my wipes ready. 
because I'm going to get dirty. Okay. Um, next, we have the Winky Lux Strobing Balm Cream Highlighter. This is the color Radiant Pink. I'm opening it for you now. It comes in this little compact. Um, <clears throat> there we go. There's the color there. A full size is $16. It's a creamy highlighter. Obviously, you can see that I've been dipping my finger into it. Um, that glides on with ease and gives a beautiful glow. Um, it is really pretty. I played with it before I washed my face. And it has a really smooth texture. Like, it just kind of warms up to your skin. Um, let's see if we can show you what it looks like there. Um, that's a little much for your face but I want to make sure that you can see the swatch. So it does have a slight pink sheen to it, but it's just kind of like a light champagne -y gold color. Um, it looks a little dark on my hand, but when I put it on my face, um, which I'm gonna go ahead and do in a minute here, um, it just had a really pretty, so we're just gonna kind of dab it with our finger. It just kind of warms up to your skin and kind of melts in so it just gives this really pretty glow without looking like you've applied a lot of stuff i have enough highlighter on my nose so i'm gonna go, go, go in over here um but yeah i just dab a little bit and then use my finger to kind of blend it out and it just gives this really pretty subtle healthy glow it is really nice it feels really good on it doesn't feel greasy at all um and it feels like it, it dries down pretty fast when you start blending it out. Um, I like Winky Lux. They're the ones that have the um, the color changing, like it goes on clear, but then it, it uses your pH to make the perfect for you pinky color. Um, I like a lot of their products. I've got at least three of their lipsticks. Um, I really like them. I haven't used a lot of their other products. They do have eyeshadows. Um, and I think some skincare and then these highlighters and stuff. So I'm excited. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm excited to try this out more and use some more of their products because I really, really like their stuff. Um, welcome, welcome. <laughs> so that was our Birch Box. Um, those are really great products. Um, you know, obviously, I'm not really going to use the MAC mascara but all of the other things are really really fantastic and definitely things that i would use or i'm excited to try so um so that's a plus and and that's great and that means i'm gonna keep my birch box a little bit longer all right next we're gonna do the ipsy glam bag plus so um while the sephora play and the birch box are ten dollars a month um, the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is the one with the full-size products, and that one is $25 a month. Um, but you do get full-size products. So we're going to go into that. I am wearing some of those products, so I will point those out to you as we go. Um, it does come with this booklet that has product details. It has the full uh, retail price, so you kind of know the value also that you're getting in the box. Um, <clears throat> and so I haven't read all of the information, so we're going to learn about these together. Um, the first one is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. This is what the tube looks like. Um, <clears throat> so it says when you don't want to fumble with falsies, reach for this to give your natural lashes some drama. Um, it says a glossy black formula to volumize, lengthen, curl, and separate. Um, it uses peach leaf extract, walnut seed extract, and licorice root uh, to condition and moisturize your lashes so you don't have flaking. Again, I typically need a tubing mascara or I get the raccoon eyes, so um, I I'm sure going to give this a go. This is definitely something I could wear during the day while I'm at home to kind of test it out um, and just kind of wear it all day. I freaking love the brush. Look how fluffy that is. I love fluffy mascara brushes, and so many of them now are not that fluffy, and I just I love a fluffy one that looks like a little caterpillar. Um, those are my favorite kind of <laughs> mascara brushes. Um, but I will uh, definitely use this and let you guys know how it turned out. Um, I forgot to collect my different things that from the last unboxing to tell you what we used. Um, so I need to remember to do that more often because I haven't been doing that um, regularly. Um, 
All right. So yeah, the value of this one is $24. So that almost pays for the box, which is cool. Um, I like when there's a really good value for the box. All right. Next is the, let's see, let me find the box. The Vasanti Matte Crush Lipstick Pencil in Berry First Kiss. Now this is the shade that I'm wearing today. Um, and this is the box, so we don't need that anymore. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it is a pencil. You will have to sharpen it. Um, it also comes with a sharpener, so that's helpful. Um, this is what it looks like. And it does have, it does seem to have a bit of a sheen to it. I'm going to go ahead. It looks matte when I put it on my hand. When I put it on my lips, it looked like it had kind of a sheen to it. Um, <clears throat> but it has dried down where it looks a little more matte. And I do think that I need a lip liner just a little bit with this. But it's a gorgeous color. It's not quite red. It is definitely a little more um berry tinge like kind of a magenta berry color um and it's gorgeous i really really like it um so it is dried down um i put it on before we got started with this stuff um i'm gonna kiss my hand and see how much transfer we have so it definitely does transfer it's not uh kiss proof um, it doesn't feel drying, which is awesome. Um, I did choose this one because I thought it'd be less drying than the Stila. I was right. It feels really good on the lips. Like it is dried down. And when I do like this, it feels balmy, but kind of powdery, um, kind of like a velvet lipstick in a way, but it doesn't feel drying at all. Um, so hopefully that makes sense to you. <laughs> but it just, it feels good. It feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's pulling, you know? Um, so that's awesome. I mean, you're definitely going to have to reapply this after you eat, but I think it's going to hold up really well on its own otherwise, um, just because of the texture of it. I do hate doing the corners of my mouth. Does anybody else hate that? I just feel like it gets weird and gunked up. Um, so <laughs> there's the swatch again uh, on my hands. So you can kind of see the more pinkiness of it versus the really dark Stilo one. Um, so that gives you kind of an idea. It does look a little more red on camera. It is um, more of a pinky berry magenta e color in person. And you can see I'm kind of being a mess with it and getting it all over me. Um, these are $23 full size. Um, it does say it has um, opaque color and all day wear. Um, but I don't see where it'd be all day wear if it kisses off. So, um, it says it's feather proof and smudge proof. Um, I feel like I'd still need a little bit of a lip liner to get a straighter line. That could just be my lip. Um, it does, it does look pretty smooth overall. Like you can see the lines of my lip, but it doesn't look, um, dry or weird or anything. All right, so moving right along, we're going to go to the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. Um, I always love when they have these long-ass names that I have to try to, to spill out. Um, yeah, so this is a full size. It's, it's big. Um, it is through, it's one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters, uh, but it's a really big package. Um, <clears throat> the retail value is $45 for this. Uh, so this is a water light serum to wake up dull, tired skin in the morning. Glycerin, jojoba, seed oil, and amino acids, plump fine lines, honey extract brightens the skin, and vitamin E acts as a barrier against free radicals. Um, so this will be good for nighttime. It also says you can use it as a daily moisturizer and a primer for your foundation. Um, and will give you bright, dewy skin. So I'm excited to try this. Let's, uh, let's pump it out. Oh, it's yellow. <laughs> I don't think I expected it to be yellow. Um, so there's what it looks like. We're just going to zhuzh it over here and then I'll clean my skin. But it is a really light, uh, feel to it. It's creamy. Um, oh, it soaks in really well. Mm, it feels good. It feels really, um, soft and hydrating. So 
I'm excited about that. I'm going to go ahead and clean my arm because I feel like I'm going to get that lipstick all over me in no time. And I don't want to get anything on my shirt. I think the Stila one's not going to come off, so you're just going to have to deal with that the whole time, probably. I'm going to scrub, though. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Eh. Usually I have to use, um, like, a, a bioderma or something to get that one off, but I was able to scrub it off. Yay, woohoo. Okay. Um, that is garbage. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited about this. It didn't really have... A smell to it at all so if you're anti smells this will be okay for you <clears throat> all right let's continue um, we are on the other side now okay next is the well let's let's do the other skincare one um, we have the murad acne control skin perfecting lotion um, so the value of this one is $40 um, it can be a daily moisturizer to hydrate without greasiness. It's an oil-free moisturizer um, that's lightweight to help reduce, and it helps reduce shine and the appearance of pores. Um, retinol supports natural cell turnover. Hyaluronic acid and honey extract keep your face hydrated. Arnica, a soothing herb, soothes and reduces puffiness. Um, so that sounds pretty fantastic. Murad is a great um, skincare company. I've used some of their other stuff before. I don't think I've used this before, but it seems like it's going to be pretty great for my skin or my skin needs anyway. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Let's see what the texture is like. All right, there's the tube. I'm going to set those over there. Um, so it is like... A thinner lotion so it does have that lightweight feel to it there's not really a smell or anything it feels nice it doesn't feel greasy it seems to um, to sink in pretty fast feels good again this hand is going to be amazing yeah it doesn't really have a scent but it does feel really hydrating I'm gonna start using this tonight I'm gonna test that out Ooh. Ooh, la la. All right, let me get my other wipe out. Okay, so then we're going to get to the rest of the makeup stuff. Um, all right, I'm going to go with the highlighter first. So I got this Ofra highlighter. It's a full size. The retail value is $35. This is the color Rodeo Drive. It has a magnetic palette. It's got the mirror over here. I'm going to cover that up so I don't blind you. But there it is. She's gorgeous. Oh, you use Murad products? Awesome. Yeah, I've only used a little bit of samples, but I really, really liked them. Um, the ones that I've used anyway, but I can't remember what they were. I think one was an eye cream. Um, so I have this color in a little trio when I first tried the Ofra highlighters and they're really, really great. They're super duper shiny <laughs> and they tend to last all day. Um, I am wearing that like the one on my nose and I had it underneath the Winky Lux one too, uh, but I toned it down a little bit, but I like it on my nose. Um, so I'm going to swatch this. Oh, look at that. Oh, see, I still have lipstick on my hand, too. But look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to apply it on my beautifully, wonderfully hydrated hand. Um, look at that. Oh, my God. It's so pretty. Um, so it looks more goldy and darker in the um, container but when you kind of zhuzh it out it just has this really nice golden like champagne -y look to it it looks more yellow on camera at least to me than it does on my hand but <sighs> they're so pretty and they're so silky and smooth and they're just fantastic um i can never get enough so i'm just gonna put a little bit more highlighter on I'm going to be so highlighted. No one's going to know what hit that. I'm going to blind everyone. They're all going to have to wear sunglasses at the restaurant. It's going to be too much. They're going to ask me to leave. And I'm going to be like, okay. Oh, it's so pretty. And you can kind of put some on your lip too. Ooh, la la. 
exactly. <laughs> yeah, it does look it does look more yellow gold in on the the camera. Yeah, I just I don't know why, but that that champagne flash you see as I turn it really slow, that's the color it actually is. So sometimes the lighting gets weird and it just doesn't show up the way it is, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, it's gorgeous. These highlighters are great. Um, they do have that trio back online um, on the Ofra site. It's called Feeling Myself. It has three different colors in it. One's a little more whitish, one's a little more pinkish, and then this one. So um, it's a really great palette, especially if you've never used their stuff before and you want to kind of get a feel for the different colors. Um, and I think it's maybe 25 or something. I can't quite remember. Um, but it's really great. And I'm really excited that I got a full size of, of Rodeo Drive in, uh, in this box. All right. So next up, we have the Violet Voss Mini HG Eyeshadow Palette. This is the box. Um, and it has the palette, a picture of the palette anyway. There's no list of the names of the colors, which I tend to like to have. Um, so this palette retails for $18. This is what it looks like. It does have a mirror inside. It is a magnetic one. Um, I'm going to pull that back just a little bit so I can show you the colors. Let's get this up here. So we have a few uh, shiny ones and then a few matte ones. Um, and I'm trying to... So this, this one is actually more orangey toned in person, like a warmer orangey tone, <clears throat> but it looks more mustard yellow in the lighting to me. And this one is more of a pinky mid-tone brown, um, and it just looks more pale in the light. And then I'd say these two also don't really show what they actually look like, and these are a little deeper. Um, this is more of like a pale, almost kind of pinky lavender, and this is a pale pink. Um, so the colors are a little deeper. They're a little more uh, awesome in person, I guess I could say. Um, the one that I'm like not really fond of, I guess, would be this one because I just don't wear that that like super warm orangey color a lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you. Oh, you know what? Let me clean off the highlighter. Um, so I am wearing these colors today, and I'm going to zoom you in uh, in a minute and let you see things a little more up close. Um, let me let that dry for a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in so you can see the eyeshadows. Here, I'll get, I'll get down for you. So hopefully you can see everything. I can't, I can't look at the camera at the same time. All right, there we go. That way I can know if you're, you're <laughs> being able to see everything. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm wearing the darker brown in the outer corner, but it wasn't quite dark enough, so I added some Urban Decay Black on, on there too because I just like that deeper shade. Um, I am wearing that mid-tone as a transition color, and then the dark brown, and then the mauvey brown, and I'll show you these colors in swatches, um, is all over my lid. Um, and then I used uh, some of that um, mid-tone brown under my uh, lash line as well. Um, so I'm going to zoom you back out. <clears throat> Ooh, you can see the lipstick if you want. <laughs> um, okay, so we got up close and personal. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these so you can kind of see what everything looks like. Let me dry my hands in between. So generally speaking, they were really, really pigmented, especially the shimmery colors um, with the finger but I had to work a little bit more with a brush. Um, I think the shimmery ones would apply really well with a wet brush. Um, but I didn't, I didn't get to try that yet when I was doing stuff. I'm trying to let my hand dry in between uh, using my wipe. Oh yeah, see those, those matte ones applied really well. Okay. 
So we have the, the more pale colors. Um, you can see the really pale one is more like a skin tone color. This is the sort of lavender one. Um, and then the mid-tone and the, the mid-tone one and the more pinky color. This is that, that warm mustard color. And then we have this um, uh, pinky shade. This is the one that's more like a coppery reddish pink. Um, let's see. And then we have the coppery golden color that looks way more yellow on, uh, on here. And... Um, the shimmery like a uh, rosy brown color that i'm wearing on my lid which doesn't look as rosy in here um and then we have the mattes on the end so the brown and then the burgundy so again the colors look a little bit different in this lighting but um they are really pretty uh, in person uh, again that rosy brown that i'm wearing on my lid is super gorgeous. It's one of my favorite kind of eyeshadow colors. I have um, colors like this in Colored Rain and Color Pop. I'm trying to think of if there were any other shadows um, in some of the other palettes I have. Um, it's just it's just such a gorgeous color because it does have those pink tones. It is shimmery. It is brown. It's not too taupey. It's not too warm. Um, I just love it. Now these apply really well. They blend out really well. They have great pigmentation. I did have to work a little bit more with them, um, especially the, um, the more pale colors with a brush. I think the shimmery ones would apply really great wet. Um, the darker matte colors applied really well. So um, overall, I think this is a great palette. It's certainly something to try. Um, it's definitely more budget friendly at 18. Um, so it'd be great for travel. It's got a little bit of something, something for, um, for everything. I like the inclusion of the burgundy because I've been wearing more dark burgundy colors a lot um, on the outer corner. Um, they make my eyes look um, lighter and I just happen to like that. So, um, anyway, I'm really, really happy with this, um, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus box. I had a lot of really, really awesome stuff in it and I'm super excited about using those things more and, excuse me, and trying them out and all that. I need some water. <laughs> I did the, um, the, Instagram live where I did my makeup. It was a get ready with me over on Instagram. It's the first time I've done um, an Instagram live. So I thought it'd be fun to try something new because there's different people that follow me over there and they're not really on Facebook. So um, I thought it'd be something fun to try with them and um, just talk to some different people too. And, and since we did a get ready with me last time, I thought um, it'd be fun to do for a different crowd and see if people liked it. Um, so we had a lot of fun over there, but I've been talking a lot. <laughs> so my throat's getting really dry. Um, I'm going to move this down a little bit. I swear Facebook never shows me comments um, like they should. All right, next we're going to do the Sephora Play Box. Um, so now instead of the fabric bag, they come in this plastic one that has the uh, resealable thing here. Um, these would definitely be good for travel. Um, especially with things you think might leak a little bit, I think this would be great. I, I save all of my bags, um, just in case you never know. You could give, um, presents in them, gifts to people. You could use them for travel. Um, they'd be great for a lot of things. <clears throat> so Sephora Play, I love the little pullout information sheet. Um, beauty scope is the January theme. Um, let's see, what is my beauty scope? Serenity does the body good for this uh, Epicurean earth sign, Taurus. Um, you love soothing aromas and succulent flavors. They know me. Bring that calmness into your beauty routine with a tea or latte that's infused with skin-loving ingredients. Okay, 
I need someone to make me that to your latte with skin soothing ingredients. Um, so they do have, if you go in store, you can use this for 50 extra points. Um, and then on the back, they have the information about all the products. Um, now, again, this is $10 a month, this one. Um, let's pull all of our awesome things that we got. All right, so first up is, let me lay this down. <clears throat> Is this it? Okay. It's the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Glacé. I think that's how you say it. Um, so it's a high pigmented, highly pigmented lip crayon. Bite Beauty has really great products. They're all food grade ingredients, so you don't have to worry about eating something that's going to do you some harm. Um, this is like a, a warm kind of brown color. It's a really pretty, uh, like sort of everyday kind of my lips but better kind of shade um it looks gorgeous like it looks like it's going to be a little more purpley and toned down in the tube um but it's really really pretty in person um it is a long wear formula to make your lips supple and smooth um it has orange peel wax to seal in moisture and make it water resistant but it's also hydrating um they do say um you know line your lips a little bit first but you don't always have to do that um anyway bite beauty has some really great products and this is really really pretty i think it's a little bit more rosy toned um in person versus how brown it looks on camera um again the lighting makes it a little difficult but <clears throat> you know it is what it is we do with what we have um all right so the next one is the laneige water sleeping mask it only has like a very slight uh smell just uh, a clean smell um so this is a quick absorbing gel mask that hydrates skin while you sleep this is my jam i've used this before and i really like it um so this is an innovative sleep mask that hydrates stressed parched skin with hydro ionized mineral water um so one or two nights a week and apply a quarter size amount leave it on overnight and rinse it off in the morning it does have that really light like um water gel moisturizer type texture again there's not much of a scent to it oh it feels really good <laughs> so it does just kind of sink into the skin um, and it, it feels really, really nice. Um, I have used this before and I do really like it. I like those kind of lightweight moisturizers. Um, yeah, I, I want a bigger container. <laughs> um, all right, so next we have the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. Um, it looks like they changed the way the tubing looks. I think it used to just be like a dark gray color. Um, so they've changed that a bit. Um, it is a charcoal mask. Um, you've probably, oops, I dropped the top. Um, you've probably seen these before. So yeah, I think the tube was this color, this dark gray color. Um, Origins has been in a lot of stuff and Sephora always had like a trio you could buy at Black Friday that had some different masks in it. Um, let me try to get this top that I dropped. Got it, okay. Um, I've used this mask before. I like it just fine. I don't really have anything negative to say about it. Um, I don't think I've used it enough to like definitively tell you what it did for my skin, but, um, I have used it before and Origins, um, has pretty good products. So try it if you like. Um, next we have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now I have used this before. I do have, oh, uh, there's, oh, I hate those stickers that are on the top. Um, I have used it before. I don't think I've ever used it by myself, so I don't know how it works as like a primer on its own. Um, I do use the Scandinavia Priming Spray, but I also use a hydrating primer with that. Um, so I've never just used a spray on its own, uh, but it is a lightweight primer that hydrates, refreshes, and preps skin. Um, this is a three-in-one formula. You can also use it as a setting spray or a face mist throughout the day. So let's let's mist. Ah, <laughs> it does feel nice and hydrating. I always love a good mist in the middle of the day. Just feels good. Um, 
let me fix my necklace because it went off the rails. All right. Um, so yeah, it's it smells nice. It has like a a light kind of floral scent. It's not overpowering at all. Um, it does feel nice, and we shall see if it zhuzhes a bit. Um, all right, so next we have the Hum Nutrition Daily Cleanse Clear Skin and Breakout Supplement. So these are ingestible vegan supplements um, in a pack. So that's interesting. I don't think I've gotten something like this before. Organic ingredients, algae and 14 detoxifying herbs and minerals. This pill assists in getting rid of toxins for a visibly clearer complexion. Oh, that's interesting. What does it say in it? Zinc, selenium, copper, manganese. Okay. Um, MSM, dandelion leaf extract, grape root, milk thistle, red clover, matcha, alpha lipoic acid. All right. That's pretty cool. Um, I do take zinc. I need to take more selenium, actually. Hashimoto's. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. I'll take it like on the weekend when instead of taking my normal vitamins and um, my skin does pretty well now because I started taking those zinc supplements. But um, yeah, it's I think this is cool to have like a little pack. These would be great for travel if it's something that works for you to just throw it together. Um, I, it doesn't have anything about the pricing, so I don't know, but it is nice that they're organic ingredients. Um, okay, and then the last thing in the Sephora Play Box is the Mirajo Nourishing Cleansing Cream and Deep Treatment Butter. So this is a hydrating shampoo and conditioner um, that nurture your hair with botanical oils and rich butters. Um, it's supposed to also add volume and shine, so that's always cool. I love to take these um, on, on trips with me. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so, like, grippy. I didn't take my fish, fish. <laughs> I didn't take my fish oil pills before this to help me not burp, but I'm burping. Okay. Um, these packets have been awesome. I get a lot of these in sample things and I throw them all in my travel stuff. Um, and they're great because when you use them, then you can throw them away and that makes suitcase room for souvenirs or something. Um, so it's nice to be able to not to have something that I have to take back with me. Um, and so that's what I do. I'll use it when, when I go somewhere, which, um, right now is until June, but we'll see. <laughs> um, so that's our Sephora play box. Again, I love Sephora play. I love trying the products out. I love trying out the new stuff. I love that it's all available at Sephora and I can, you know, go play with it if need be. Um, if I can get over there and, uh, and just kind of, look at other products and stuff in the same lines and that kind of thing. Sometimes they'll have Sephora collection products too. And um, I'm always really impressed with the quality of those actually. So um, it's always fun. It's something fun to do. I feel like I've got something on my shirt. Maybe not. Okay. All right. So that's all our beauty subscriptions. Now we have our Wee Box, which is all about Scotland. Um, and guess what? I'm going to try haggis flavored potato chips right in front of you and um i've never had haggis before i don't know what to expect um we'll see how it goes but let's let's get to that so um as you know we box comes in this big purple box it's all about scotland i started getting it because i love outlander and it's fun to learn more about scottish culture and scotland and all these kind of fun scotland things um and they always have really great products. So Burns Night was the 25th, so last Friday, right? And uh, they have this whole Burns Night stuff. So the first thing, and I wish, let's see, where's my phone? Let me get my flashlight on my phone out for you so you can see this. Um, it's like a little stained glass. Can you see it like that? Yeah, it's like this little stained glass uh, Robert Burns. Thing. It's so cute. Um, let me turn my flashlight off. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we have the stained glass window art. And it's a static clean window decoration. It's a portrait of Robert Burns by Edward Byrne Jones. Um, so there you go. There's 
there's the Robert Burns thing. I just thought this was cool. Like, I've never seen anything like this before. Um, I could think of a whole bunch of people I'd want, like, stained glass portraits of um, just to put everywhere. Let's start with New Kids and then move to Westlife. And um, <laughs> we'll go from there. <laughs> um, all right. So they also included this um, this well, pamphlet, right? Um, Sean always makes fun of the way I say it because I say pamphlet, but, um, you know, it just has some different um, information about editing um, Robert Burns' um, stuff and supporting research and, and that kind of thing um, at Oxford University. So there's some information in that. Then we have this awesome book. The thing I love about WeBooks is when they do books, they do them right. They make some really awesome books with lots of information. Um, even when the book is much smaller than this, there's always like a ton of information. So this is about the Burns Supper. It's a history of the Burns Supper. Um, it's always held with um, like traditional Scottish food and such. Um, and they just have um, I think about celebrating the poet's birthday and the dinner and the traditions and all that kind of stuff. And I also saw like different countries mentioned. So maybe it, it talks about um, how the different countries celebrate Robert Burns because you're going to have immigrants from all over um, are from Scotland going all over. Anyway, I just love the way they do the books. And this seems really, really interesting to me. So I'm excited about that. Um, we also get some Robert Burns napkins. Um, in December, they had the cute coup napkins. Um, so these are be great. I'm going to take them with me to um, Sean's birthday thing uh, next weekend. Um, so we have some extra napkins and stuff. But um, it's, it's nice to just get something like that. We also have this thistle necklace um, with Old Lang Syne on it. Um, and of course, Robert Burns there. And um, yeah, I just, it's just fun. Um, so let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Then we have Mackey's of Scotland, haggis and black pepper potato chips. <laughs> I've never had haggis before. I don't know what to expect, but let's try it. Okay, um, <laughs> right off the bat, it smells kind of like, kind of like, you know those like diet potato chips that are barbecue flavored? So they kind of taste like barbecue, but it's just kind of off because it's the diet potato chips. That's kind of what it smells like when you first smell it. Um, all right, I'm, I'm so nervous. Not bad, actually. Um, it kind of tastes like pot roast. Kind of. It just has like a meaty flavor. It doesn't taste like you're eating the essence of sheep's intestines. It kind of tastes like you're eating a pot roast. So that's good. Um, <laughs> they're not bad. They have a little bit of spice to them with the black pepper. Um, let me have one more. Mmm. Okay. So, there is, mmm, yeah, okay. There, there's a little bit of an essence of how liver smells, which I don't like at all. Um, so <laughs> the first taste was fine. Tasted like pot roast. Second flavor, you get a little more of the nuances in there and it's a little too organy for me. It's a little too earthy. Now, when I go to Scotland in June, I'm going to try haggis because I mean, I've never been to Scotland before and I've never had haggis. And if you're going to eat it, you should eat it by someone who knows how to make it, right? Um, so I'll try it. 
but I'm not committing to a full meal of it. Um, and mm, that has an aftertaste. It is earthy. It's got a, a earth about it. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll have Sean try those and see what he thinks about it. It's a little too... Um, mm, okay. <laughs> I am going to have to have like coffee or whiskey or something to wash that flavor out. Um, cause the aftertaste gets more, uh, livery, <laughs> more, more organy. Mm, yeah. It would have been fine as a pot roast. <laughs> mm, um, okay. <laughs> so not the best food product that we've tried from the boxes. I think my favorite thing, obviously, was the shortbreads. Um, the whiskey fudge didn't taste like whiskey. The um, the raisin bread stuff was pretty good. Oh, Sean, Sean brought me some, some breath spray. Thank you. Mm, yes, girl, I need it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that's better. Okay. All right. So that's all of our boxes. Uh, I would not recommend the haggis potato chips. I feel like I have crumbs on my lip. Okay. Um, yeah, unless you really like liver and that more guttural, earthy flavor, you're not going to like these. Um, I, I, Maybe they'd be better if the texture of the chip was different. I like more of a ruffles have ridges kind of texture. And these are just kind of smooth. But um, no, I won't be having those again. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining me. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did. These are some really great boxes and really great products. Um, I'll be using them over the next month. So I can come back to the uh, the next unboxing and tell you how things worked out. So, excuse me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, okay. Yeah, no liver chips. It's just, no. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to, like, collect myself after that. That was a lot. Um, I, I didn't think they'd be that earthy. Um, I was expecting something else. Um, all right. So <laughs> I'm going to go wash my mouth out. Soap would be a great option at this point. And um, I hope you guys had fun. I can't wait to try these products. Um, if you have tried any of these products or you've gotten any of these boxes, let me know what you think after you use the products. Um, and yeah, uh, we'll see you again. I think next week we'll do a Facebook Live and we'll just do a nice swatching. We'll just swatch. We'll swatch like crazy. Um, I have all those new colored rain um, eyeshadows. Finn wants something of that. And um, I have that Natasha Denona mini palette that I haven't showed you yet. I have new ColourPop eyeshadows. Um, I think I have some new lip products. So, okay. Um, <laughs> so we'll have fun and we won't have haggis potato chips at the next Facebook Live. No, ma'am. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. And I will catch you next week. Stay sparkly, you guys. <laughs>